What does Jason do for a living? Do you see yourselves getting married? What annoys you most about the other? You can go first. Oh, I can go first? This is my boyfriend, Jason. We have been dating for a little bit over a year now, and I feel like you guys don't know him that well or our relationship really that well. Please excuse the golden retriever <laughs> in the background. So we thought it'd be fun today to do a little Q&A and uh, tell our story a little bit. Before we get started, today's video is sponsored by Cuts Clothing, which we're both wearing Cuts Clothing right now. One of the things when I first started dating Jason, I looked at his closet and he had this brand called Cuts Clothing literally all over. Like every other shirt is Cuts Clothing. No joke, Jason is like the biggest Cuts fan. And it turns out they actually have a women's line too. And I've fallen in love with it just as much as him. Yeah, I've been wearing it since I was a sophomore in college or something like that. It's the yeah. best. Cuts Clothing, basically they just have really nice high quality basics that I feel like you can wear down really casual sweats if you want, or you could dress it up. Yesterday, I wore the perfect cute little real estate outfit with this shirt. Yes, I wear this shirt like every day now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cropped almost Friday tee. And I just love how this looks with yoga pants. It just like falls on the body so nicely. This is like probably my favorite new shirt. They're super comfortable. They're durable. They don't shrink. You can wear them for years. They, they don't look wear. Great. Yeah, they look great. We both love Cuts clothing so much. I will have a link below to shop Cuts, if you're just looking for new, really high quality, great basics, check them out. The first question that we overwhelmingly get is, how did we meet? Okay, ready? On the count of three, we're gonna say how, how we met. Same time? Yeah. Okay. In a sentence. Got it. <laughs> three, two, one. We, we were, were neighbors. neighbors. Oh, that wasn't oh, even rehearsed. That was really cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we got pretty lucky in the day and age of, you know, most people meeting on the apps, which is totally fine. Yeah. We have like this actually kind of cute story. From where we're living right now, just a couple doors down, uh, me and six buddies moved in right at the beginning of the pandemic and when everyone was working kind of from home and kind of stuck at home mm -hmm. it was really cool that we just happened to live you know two houses away from each other it did not take long for me and my roommates to notice like oh there's like guys our age on the street and baylor always your yeah. golden retriever he always was like popping his head up off the white picket fence yeah like, there was a white picket fence with a little board halfway off it and he'd put his front paws up yeah. and just like look over it all day and i'd be walking cowboy and i'd be saying hi to this funny little golden retriever then and finally, you know, probably a month and a half passed by since you guys had moved in. And finally, just someone was outside and we all met. And we made friends first. Yeah. We hung out as friends for a whole year. I made great friends with your friends as well. Mm -hmm. When you first told me that she was a YouTuber, I'm sitting here thinking in my head, like, what does that even mean? All YouTube is is sports highlights and music videos. It's like, this girl has no job. I think I always like Jason, uh, but it wasn't the well, right time We're going to get all into this. Yeah, I was No, we won't get too crazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I was definitely the first one to fall for her, I think. Um, and I didn't really want to bring it up, honestly. Being six guys that we were like I was living with, and mm -hmm. then you and these three girls, I definitely didn't want to a make anything weird between us. Yeah, um, it's like it's tough. It's like, do I say my feelings and then maybe get rejected, and then it's like the friendship is weird. Yeah. It was like one of those situations. Yeah. And I, my, for me, like I had been in a relationship not that far before then. And it was my first relationship ever. It ended very poorly. And then I was getting my real estate license and I had just bought my house to Palm Springs. I was planning on, you know, spending a considerable amount of time there renovating. I like tunnel vision, could not imagine liking anyone at that time. But I kind of, I always like gravitated towards you. And I know like my first impression of you was always like, oh, he's really cool. I thought you were like <laughs> way cooler than me. Like, oh, that's silly. And then I've come to find out <laughs> that I'm, not. I'm way cooler than you, <laughs> but that was kind of my side of remaining friends. I never really intended for you to find out that I had feelings for you. One of her roommates kind of spilled the beans. I told her and I was specifically told her not to tell her. Mm -hmm. And then instantly, I'm pretty sure she told you. And it yes. was weird for, for us for a while. And then finally, when the timing finally felt right, basically what happened was last summer, I finally started to feel ready. I was feeling good about my real estate career. I had a year under my belt, good about YouTube, good about my life, like in a great place where I felt like oh you know the only thing that's missing now is a partner and like I want to start dating and stuff like that and so that's when finally like my mind did open up to like wait Jason Jason I, I I think I like Jason and then one night we were all at a bar together all just friends and I just went up to you and was like I like you <laughs> that was probably like stop yeah he Why just did not me? believe me he's like stop teasing me like stop and I was like no like I want to give this a try he, he had more to drink than me and <laughs> <laughs> he start I'm gonna I'm gonna throw him under the bus for a minute. He started so saying 
I love you. <laughs> I, I love you. I love you. Let's run off together. Oh, this is humiliating. <laughs> <laughs> he did that. And and I'm like, okay, I think I like him, but I was like, shut up. <laughs> You're going to ruin I this. I was like, stop. I think I like you, but you need to chill. You need to uh. simmer. And from that night on, we were inseparable ever since. So yeah, that's basically the story of how we met, how we got together. Favorite memory together. I think that like our first real date, we went to a Green Day. Um, in Weezer concert. That yes. was really, really fun. That was probably only like five days after we really got together. Yeah. And, oh, let me grab. You can keep telling the story. Yeah, I didn't really know kind of where we were at at that point. Um, so I was super, super nervous. I was coaching high school football at the time and she was just like texting me, trying to get me to get, get out of like a film session that we had and come to this concert with her. And I was so nervous when we rolled up or when I came up and she kissed me like right away. So that instantly took the nerves away. Um, but that was so much fun. I love Green Day. I love all of those songs. Um, <laughs> all my friends are gonna make fun of me for this. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I, I feel like I knew. Like I knew I was in you, especially after that concert. Like yeah, he saved the ticket to the concert and he framed it and gave it to me. Uh, one year. For one year, isn't that cute? My favorite memory together is probably when we went to Hawaii. Yeah, that, that was, was close so to fun. Yeah, and that was like only probably like two months into us dating. Yeah, we bought tickets the morning of. Mm -hmm. And that he was keeping it really low key. How afraid of flying he actually is. Like I had no idea he actually is terrified. I had a bad ex flying experience. It's not like I'm just like a dramatic. Human. Yeah, yeah. The longer we date, the more the truth comes out. <laughs> but like, I don't like flying. I don't like turbulence. I don't have to tell you. Like, <laughs> that we have I feel a like flight. it's so reasonable to not like being in an airplane thirty thousand feet above the ground when it's shaking. Yeah, it is. It it's is reasonable. How do you balance busy schedules? We are both very, very, very busy. You're going to come to learn, especially here soon. Yeah. Communicate with each other. We have a phone calendar together. I invited you to, and you've never accepted the invite. <sighs> we have a physical calendar, and we have a whiteboard. So because we have been getting busier more recently. I'll literally like put something in the physical calendar, in my phone calendar, yes. and on the whiteboard. Are y'all moving to NYC? No, we were thinking about it. Honestly, I was so surprised that you were down. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. I think I would be open to living in Brooklyn. So I have two rules. She thinks I'm being unreasonable here. I have two rules when it comes to housing. Okay. I want to have a yard and I don't want to live 30 floors above the ground. Yeah, but we'd have to have like a brownstone type thing with a backyard and those are like $15,000 a month. Yeah. I think ultimately we came to the conclusion we both love New York it's so fun but it's just a place that we like to go visit it's so expensive and I don't think I would make more money being in New York I can't justify it <laughs> I remember the last time we did this some guy said how did that guy get a bombshell like you first of all Colin it's not very nice, <laughs> but I don't know. How did I get a bombshell like you? You were persistent. No, I was persistent. That's for sure. Who knows the other one better? I feel like I know you better. I was going to say, I feel like you know me better because I feel like you know me better than I know me. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm also like very, very independent and there's a lot of things about me and like that I do day to day that I keep to myself. Do you think Monica and Shelby look alike? No, I don't at all. If you guys go like high ponytail, like maybe a little bit, but I really don't see it at all. Yeah. How would you two spend a lazy day at home? Well, this is a luxury that is pretty much gone from my life. I used to love sitting at home just being lazy, but this girl has projects and stuff that we're going about doing. So doing that's, stuff all day. Yeah. Except lately, I think your perfect thing is just watching football all day oh, on Sunday. Sundays are... Does Jason get bothered you share a lot on the internet? Am I bothered? No. Yeah. What about if I'm like vlogging and I just put you in it? I try and be like oh conscious of those sorts of things. Like there's sometimes where I'm like, my hair is like, <laughs> and I'm like doing something. I'm like, can you just not put that on there? But otherwise it's like, you don't mind. No, I don't mind. Yeah. No, it's kind of fun. My, my mom loves it. My mom loves seeing me on YouTube. So. Hey Jody. <laughs> hey Jody. <laughs> Do you plan on staying in Seattle? And if not, where would you move? Yeah, I think we want to stay in Seattle. I think no. Yeah, so or I, we'd be willing to move over to the east side of Seattle, yeah. like the Bellevue side. I think that's our end goal. But yeah. we love Queen Anne. Mm -hmm. um, I don't necessarily have any intentions on moving like out of state. Yeah, no. I think in a perfect world, we're very aligned on wanting to stay in Seattle. What annoys you most about the other? You can go first. Oh, I can go first? You have to be, although I love you, <laughs> the single most unorganized person I've probably ever met. Ever. I mean that as a compliment, like it's impressive. There's just no method to the madness. There's just so much going on in this little head up here. I'm trying to get Ugh. better about it. I will say I'm trying to get better. I, I would say for me, what annoys me about you is uh, sometimes you'll be like, me and my buddies are gonna go golfing on a Monday and I'm like, shouldn't you be working? Weirdest thing the other person has done. 
The other day, he, after a night out, fell asleep on the floor downstairs. <laughs> he was just like completely passed out asleep on the hardwood floor. Sometimes when you are drinking, you do like reverse bridges <laughs> and like look at me with your tongue out like, ah, like a demon. <laughs> you know, like something from a scary movie, yeah. What does Jason do for a living? What do you do for a living? I'm in tech sales. I work for a, uh, like a tax payroll software company and I work with our Amazon franchise. So I work from home. And I heard he's also becoming a realtor. Yeah, I got my license in July of this year after you, you know, really hounded me about it. Um, yeah. It's a hard process, let me tell you, like yeah. studying like that, yeah. especially when you're working a job, you have dogs, you're mm -hmm. you know, doing other things as well. It's really time consuming. It's very hard if you already have a full-time job. Yeah, like that. but it's yeah. great. Do you see yourselves getting married? I don't know. You gonna get married? What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> of course I think we're gonna. Yeah, definitely. Otherwise, I don't think we would like live together. Yeah, she looks at me all the time and just goes, mm. <laughs> What are your zodiac signs? I don't know what that means. I'm not super into zodiac stuff either, but we're both Aquariuses and our birthdays are like 11 days apart. Mm -hmm. But tech, I'm like, it's not really 11 days apart. It's like 350 days apart. You're older than I'm me. a year older than him. But his birthday is January 29th. Yeah. And mine's February 10th. Yeah. And so it's fun. On well, the last time we did this, you got my birthday wrong. I know. I think that about wraps it up for some questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can follow us both on Instagram. I have a feeling you guys are going to be seeing more of Jason here in the future. Bye, guys. Bye.